Next question is from Cam the Lamb. How do I balance drinking and going out with working on my fitness goals? I really want to get back in shape and go hard, but I also love drinking and watching sports with my friends, so it's hard mentally. Any tips? Yeah, I can't, I can't wait to hear what you guys are going to say right this now. This guy sounds fun. Well, this has to be one of the most common, super common things that you hear from clients. Like, super common, and, oh, yeah, totally. And I think I, over years, my my conversation has changed. So I want to hear what you guys have to say, like oh, how, I, how you would present this. Oh yeah, you know the way I used to present. So if you're serious, you're not going to drink, and you're going to do. And <laughs> yeah, if you really want to cut it out like, look, completely, here, look, here's the bottom line. Okay, um, you can't have everything. Okay, so now this isn't a negative uh, message. This is a positive one. You enjoy hanging out with your friends. There's value in that. Nothing wrong with that. You also like fitness. That's phenomenal. Are you going to get the most fit, buffed, best performance if you drink occasionally, eat the occasional slice of pizza with your friends? No. Who cares? Who cares because you also like to hang out with your friends. So yeah. unless you're training for a high-level competition, in which case I tell people like, okay, well, you want to perform your absolute best on this particular day, make sure for the next two months or whatever. But look, this is life. Life is like this. So you enjoy things. That's fine. It's balanced. So you, you're going to give up a little bit for the other one. Is it all worth it to you? That's up to you. There's no secret answer. I'm not going to tell you. Yes, Z-Biotics, for example, will help you with the alcohol. Is it perfect? No, it's not perfect. Alcohol still has calories. Then doesn't eliminate that. Doesn't eliminate the the fact that you might get drunk and make other you know choices around that. Just it's just accept it. It's not a big deal as long as nothing's too extreme. You're not hurting yourself with the exercise or the or the the drinking. It's it's not a big deal. Yeah, I mean we have we have short term goals sometimes, and I think there's nothing wrong with um, intensifying. Uh, your disciplines for periods. Uh, and, and so I get it. Like I get sometimes you do want to present your your body or you have the thing, specific things where you know, like if I'm, I feel more confident because I have to t take my shirt off and mm -hmm. I got to kind of, uh, you know, make sure that I feel good uh, in that opportunity. And so I would tighten it up a bit then. Like that's just one of those things you got to, you got to sacrifice your fun a bit, right? And so it's just like, this is life is where, you, do you want to do a sprint right now and really focus on that? Or are you playing the long game? Is this something that is just like a lifestyle thing that you just want to keep in shape, but also have fun on top of that? You could totally do that and be flexible with it. You just have to know that it, it is pulling back, you know, your results a bit, but it, you could totally like weave that in as long as you maintain your, your normal uh, healthy uh, fitness goals and practices and other disciplines uh, throughout the week. Well, the, uh, <clears throat> You like drinking and watching sports with your friends. Uh, are we watching basketball? Because that's on three nights a week. Uh, or are we watching football, which is on every Sunday, and you're doing that? So first of all, I'd ask, how often is this? Because, uh, And you, you have to be very realistic with what your goals are because they're conflicting type of goals. One of them is you know, you're pursuing you know, the social aspect of, of health and, and drinking and enjoying yourself, which like, Sal said, I think there's tremendous value in that. And I think there's nothing wrong with that too. But you also have to be very realistic with what you're asking yourself to do on the physical side too. If you are looking at your favorite Instagram person who's got, you know, six pack abs and looks amazing and you aspire to look like that. And at the same time too, you want to drink with your friends every basketball game or every football game on Sundays. Yeah, it's not going to work. Uh, yeah. It's just, it's unrealistic to do that. And I think that I think why we see this is because we had there's a lot of that um, promoted in, on like social media. You'll see somebody who's got this great physique, and then they're only posting these videos of them celebrating and going out and having fun and doing this. Like, well, look at see, look at yeah, that's after they got to that. Yeah, yeah, and you and you don't know how neurotic they are about their fitness outside of that. So all you what you don't see. Is that guy or girl or they're spitting it out right after? They right, or you don't see them getting up every uh, weekend and cooking for the whole week and weighing and measuring and tracking their cal calories and then getting on and doing that cardio early in the morning and doing all these other things so they can do that and still maintain this physique. And you just got to ask yourself if that's what you want. There, there is a there is a balance here. I mean, I absolutely enjoy a drink uh, with my friends and watch a game, uh, but I also don't need to do that every single time we sit down and watch a game. It's like so you, you learn to have a little bit of that balance of like, okay, well, I do love to do that. And there's going to be times where, you know what? I do want to do that. I, my buddies and I, we haven't been together in, you know, over a month. It's a big game. You know, our two teams that are playing against each other and we don't have anything to do the next day. It's like, hey, let's let loose and have a good time. Like 100% I'm going to do that. Yeah. Yeah, but 
if I'm seeing my friends every single weekend and we're watching football and we're having beer every single time, is it really that special? Is yeah. it really that big of a deal if I sacrifice two or three of those times? Like, is it really at that yeah, if point? If you can't have fun with your friends without including alcohol, I think you should really ask yourself. Every time, right? Yeah, like, like every time. Like, that's a, that's a question you need to ask yourself. Why? Yeah. and But again, it's all, look, it's all about, it's so funny too. I was, I was thinking right now, like we, Adam and I went to that event in Arizona and we, it was like nine o'clock at night and we both look at each other like, Let's, we should probably not just go to bed. And it's funny because- <sighs> People might be like, oh, they're so disciplined. They didn't go out and drink with people. <laughs> See, I wasn't there. And it's yeah, like, so. no, it's because we have kids and we're tired yeah. and we want to go to bed. Yeah. But, you know, the truth is, you know, like like as a fitness podcast, we had a weed sponsor at one point. Okay. We had a cannabis sponsor, that, a delivery company. We will hang out and we'll drink and enjoy ourselves sometimes. And, and I was so neurotic when I was younger that I kind of learned this the hard way. Like I learned like, wait a minute, that's not really – Enjoying life. What was that study? I think it came out of Stanford that showed that like bad relationships or as bad for your health as like smoking, smoking ten day. packs, of, you know, yeah. ten cigarettes a day or something like that. Yeah. So it's all health, but here's the here's the challenge. The challenge isn't necessarily that. The challenge is the I want my cake and I want to eat it too. Well, yeah. You can't do it all. Okay, you're not going to be four percent body fat. You know, Instagram ready. But also on the weekends, you hang out with your friends and you drink. So it's, it's not going to happen. But that's okay. You know, that's okay that you got to be able to to look at the whole thing from a balanced perspective. Now, if you want to do that, then it's going to mean that you're going to have to cut out a lot of other things that you enjoy in order to look a particular way, which I would argue is a miserable existence. I'm going to be honest with you. It's not <laughs> yeah. a very fun. I'm the most neurotic out of all of us uh, here in the studio. But I also don't go that extreme because it sucks. It sucks to be that extreme all the time. You got to find that value for yourself and find that balance. And there, Justin mm -hmm. was kind of alluding to this. There's nothing wrong with you saying, you know what? The next eight to twelve weeks, I'm gonna, totally. I am gonna be neurotic. I am gonna like, I'm gonna skip all drinking, occasion, social events. I'm gonna train hard. I'm gonna weigh, I'm measure. And I actually think there's tremendous value in doing that. And and also asking yourself like, this isn't me saying for the rest of my life. Like yes. remember, I was the I'm guy who competed this. for three years. Yeah. And during that time, I carried my Tupperware and missed out on all these, uh, all these you know, drinking occasions. And I don't feel like I really missed out that much. And but I, if you did I, it forever, right? If I did yeah. it forever and that was my life, I would feel that way. But I did it for an, a, a period of my time because I had a goal that I cared about more and I knew uh, there'll be plenty of times in the future for me to drink and I had plenty of times of drinking before that. So I think there's nothing wrong and I think there's lots of value in you making that sacrifice to get to that point because once you get to that, like that, what you were seeking as far as your 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 aesthetics or whatever we're, we're, we're chasing right now, once you get there and, and you find, you know what it takes discipline-wise, sacrifice, consistency-wise to get to that place, you then can start to do things like adding the drinking in here and there, and you can see how much it affects it. Yeah. And you can and go we'll see like, what's worth it. Right. And then, exactly. And then you have an idea, and that's exactly like, what Like, is it worth it? I'll to ask you, Adam, you've done this before. Is it worth it to walk around, uh, just for life, just for your life, is it worth it to walk around 5% body fat all the time? No. 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 For the, the few- As cool as it is, the oh, look yeah. no, I've, And I've shared on the show before, one of the most epic moments ever was uh, the the weekend in Vegas when I went pro. It, it's burned in my brain. It felt amazing to be on top of the world at that moment and to feel that crazy in shape. Um, even knowing that, I still would no. Nah, I wouldn't want that all the time because those are those are tiny little sliver moments that you have the rest of the time. No one gives a shit. You're walking around five percent underneath your clothes. No one cares. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so I'm so who glad you, really you said that. For? I'm mm -hmm. so glad you said that because I think uh, we have this mental image of what you know it looks like to to or what it's like to look fit and healthy. You know what the reality is? If you're generally healthy, you're going to look good. Yep. You're not going to be super shredded, but super shredded, nobody really cares mo for the most part anyway, except for other fitness fanatics, I'll be honest. If I get super shredded, you know who, people who notice? Other like fitness maniacs. Other people are kind of like, oh, he's a little too lean. I've actually had people tell me that. Oh, if you gain a little bit of body fat, you'd look better, you know, type of deal when I've gotten mm -hmm. that lean. So mm -hmm. nobody really cares. It's not that big of a deal. You can't have it all, but so what? Like, I think balance is the key. This is a lifelong pursuit. Yep. And this, this, you know, this dichotomy that we create with ourselves is like, I think it's totally silly sometimes. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here, or you can find other clips over here. And be sure to subscribe.